big or small, Christmas trees take pride of place in our living rooms throughout the festive break. And now Christmas is over. That doesn't necessarily spell the end to our Christmas trees. These guys here are making sure our festive trees are being put to good use all year round. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect. This one for the job. Mike and his team from the Environment Agency are collecting trees that weren't sold here at Winlatter Forest in Cumbria. The leftovers donated by the Forestry Commission are being used as flood defences on the River Erzel. They're a natural way of actually um, preventing um, flooding and erosion. They actually go towards protecting farmland, protecting habitat, and, and that's fabulous. That's about it. That's a full load, I think. Once drilled to the banks, the branches help slow down the force of the river, which prevents erosion and reduces flood risk. The Christmas trees, you know, they have multi-purposes, really. They reduce the amount of uh, water pressure on the riverbanks. The silt that's being carried in the river gets filtered by the, the pine needles here on, on the Christmas tree. And, um, and also it's perfect refuge for fish underneath the Christmas trees from predators in the river. The team here in Cumbria hope that their Christmas tree recycling project helps protect local people from flooding and encourages wildlife to the area. But it's not just here by the river where it's happening. It's also happening by the coast too. So these are the Christmas trees that you planted last year. Tell us how it all worked. We, uh, we asked local residents to bring in their Christmas trees. Uh, we dig a trench basically, plant the Christmas trees, um, crisscross shaped and hopefully in years to come will form dunes like the ones behind us. Last year, volunteers planted nearly 500 trees along the coast of St Anne's near Blackpool. It helped protect properties from storm surges earlier this year and many locals say they'll be back out again in a few weeks to plant some more. It was great. A good team of volunteers. We've got Lancashire Wildlife Trust. Uh, the council come, of course, and dig a trench for us. I live just the other side of town, but our house is below sea level. So flood defences are important. Back in the lakes, Mike and his team believe Christmas trees can always be put to good use any time of year. Leah Belletto, BBC News.